It's been way too long, I've been building walls around me Keep my distance so you never know too much about me Trying to keep you wild cause I love my safe space Hey, San Jose Church, married couples, we love you. I know this has been a tough season in COVID and we just wanted to do something fun together. And the truth is a lot of us can't go anywhere, but we can go to our kitchens. And so we're super excited to have you here tonight. Tonight is just cooking and comedy. Tomorrow is the conference. So make sure you tune in tomorrow as we talk about some difficult things. But for those of you who didn't watch any of our advertisements, we are joined with the owners of the Rustic Fork. This is Natalie and her amazing husband, Tommy, and they are joining us Tell me just a little bit about you two real quick. Uh, I know how you guys went on your first date. Tell us about that, that was great. He asked you out and you said? Yeah, I said, actually, we can go to church if you like. I go to church like three days a week, so come on with me. Yeah. What yeah, were you and thinking? I was kind of a wild child and I'm like, okay. I mean, in my art of persuasion, I, I was just gonna agree with, you know, my uh, my goal here was to get her. So I'm like, you know, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll take that approach, which yeah. is different than my typical first date, yeah. right? I mean, for me, but I was uh, I was not afraid of it. I was I was excited to do that, actually. And I think that's kind of why our marriage spun off, because we started on a good foundation yeah. like that. It wasn't, let's get a drink, let's, you know, get a bite to eat. Which we did get a bite to eat afterwards, but yeah. that's because it progressed. Like, we enjoyed our company at church, Yeah, you know? And I saw her worshiping, and, you know, I just feel like, this girl's special. Yeah. Were you like, yeah. that's a new one for me though? Like, it was, absolutely. You know, and that was like really right. took me off. Yeah, I'm like, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, probably half of our couples are crying right now. They're like, we met in the bar. It's over. <laughs> no, it's okay. okay. Look, man, God, 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 us, so. yeah, God I already tried that, that many times over, and that wasn't working for me. Yeah. You know, so this was what it was for me. I met Tammy on the yeah. bus to an Angels game. Oh, yeah, my friend Warren yeah. said, there's a super smoking hot blonde girl. Go talk to her for me. So I did. Right. You know, and here we are 24 years later, three kids. So you guys uh, recently opened a restaurant. How long has Rustic Fork been open? Almost a year, coming up one year. Yeah, yeah so July 16th was our, our launch. Yeah, oh, so you guys right? picked a great time to start yeah, the restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. for those of you who are watching, None you know, I was, knew about yeah, I was sharing yeah. with uh, Natalie and Tommy that, you know, of all the tw of the 24 years that I've pastored Sandals, 2020 has been by far the hardest year emotionally, spiritually, and restaurant owners economically, right? It's It's been a real challenge. And so I want to encourage you guys. It's important that we support each other as Christians. Go check out the restaurant. And let me just say this. If the food wasn't great, I don't care that they go to Sandals. You know, I would just be like, oh, that was good. And, you know, walk out. Yeah. So it's yeah, excellent, so excellent food. Uh, it's just a great place. It's in Alessandro. What's your guys address? 1355 East Alessandro okay. Boulevard. It's not Alessandro, it's it an orange like, crest. It's a hidden gym. Not that mm. it's hidden, but there's not a yeah, ton of Yeah, we're off the beaten other, path. Like, we're not, like you know, that. mainstream downtown. But you walk in, it's beautiful. Yeah, and it's yeah so for our couples in Fresno, it would be a, a long drive. Or long for day, nice. our internet right. family, you know, because we got family all over the place. So if you're in Germany, you know, this is as close as you're going to get, yeah. unless you come out here and you can come to the restaurant. But that's yeah. what's really weird is we have people, uh, you know, during COVID, 79 countries, over 3 million new people have watched our services. So it's incredible. So if they all go to your restaurant at once, that's gonna be a right. problem. <laughs> but check it out. Um, you know, can they make a reservation or how does it of course, work? Yeah, you yeah. go online to our website, make a reservation. We actually recommend that during these times. Yeah. Right, we're, we're trying to maintain like social distancing and not get overwhelmed with people. And so to control uh, reservations is probably Because at this point, it is like the early stages, right? Sure. Back to being dine-in, right. um, which is good, but it's still not full yeah. capacity because it is swam in Yeah, what's the hamburger, <laughs> the, the hamburger that I ordered that I love? You like the brunch burger. Right. Yeah, the brunch yeah. burger. So just so you guys know. I give, not... you, I give you the extra burger sauce, right? Yes. I know what I So they about. put yes. they yes. put syrup. Maple and sriracha. Sriracha maple. Yeah. So, oh, and so it's good. spicy syrup on your hamburger. It is the most delicious thing I've ever tasted in my life. So um, and I have a lot of allergies. They have gluten-free buns. So right. some of you are like, what's that? Well, you're blessed. Um, <laughs> so they make it, and it's so wonderful. The only thing I can't eat on it is the egg, because you guys put the egg on it. But Yeah. But it, it's fantastic. Everything's great there. But... Here's the thing, though, is it is really good. Like I was joking about, but Matt has like a bazillion allergies. Everyone who knows us knows this. And he's super bougie. Like, he's not bougie about a lot of things, but his food, Yeah. it's like a bougie yeah, situation. Yeah, I don't, he came in bougie. He had his white boots on, yeah. a cardigan <laughs> over the shoulder. I'm like, oh, man, this guy's going to dress like, me hard. He wants good food, fresh food. Healthy food, everyone knows Matt's food. I'm not, but I'm not like a car guy. Like I don't spend a lot of money on cars. No, I don't, no, no. I don't spend a lot of money on, yeah, like what goes in my mouth, mouth right? right. Is what? And it's not that 
said it's super expensive, but yeah. it is just so good, fresh, clean. Yeah. Like it is super good. Like you guys know, my favorite thing ever there, if you go there, is get the cauliflower steak, nice. which seems super weird, but <laughs> it's a little bougie. It's I mean, the yeah. best thing I've ever eaten. Yeah, own it. Ever. It's so, pretty amazing. Yeah. I, yeah, wish we're, I wish we were making that too. We don't have a restaurant background and we don't really do this for business. She did it mostly because of her passion for food. Because yeah. her and I could never go on a date anywhere because she was too informed after becoming a nutritionist. Having health issues as well and yeah. just knowing the you know types of foods that I can eat and the quality that I'm looking for, mm -hmm. you know, I'm very picky because on that, You did tell well. me a little yeah. bit about that, about like you couldn't find like fresh, fresh food foods. and that kind of thing. Yeah. Share a little bit about your motivation that even led you to the restaurant mm -hmm. situation. So just finding, becoming a holistic nutritionist and finding like the sources that we should be getting our food from and how like we should be getting our food straight from the farms and things like that. I started shopping at all the local farmers markets, becoming friends with everybody and just getting my food straight from the mm. farm. So when so. we were launching this, not knowing what to expect, we got a lot of negative pushback, like, hey, price point, this, that, yeah. location. But we were so sold on the vision that people are like-minded like us. Mm. And yeah. they, they want that option. You yeah. know, that also yeah. took like us as a marriage couple and then praying and things like that and just realizing like, okay, do we do this, you know? Mm -hmm. And just getting that like, okay, like, yeah, you know, we're here for you, we got you. Like, I, yeah, that uh, makes you feel like yeah. that's where people, like when you just said, you got pushed back on the vision when we started Sandals. We right. got so much pushback on the vision, but we're like, we're, we gotta do yeah, this. Yeah, I mean, my friend Mark says this, you know, if you don't want any pushback, say nothing, do nothing, be nothing. And so whenever you step out in faith and you do something, you know, it's always amazing. People have, you know, they have uh, issues with Sandals Church. And I'm like, well, have you ever been? No. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, it, it's, 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 we live in a very, very critical society. So Absolutely. I'm very grateful. And I would just say, keep doing what you're doing. So Natalie, what are we going to make today? Yeah. So we are doing our- so intimidated by cheesecake. So yeah. I love that we're actually doing this and showing this yeah. because it is an intimidating thing to make. It really is. Like I've been to the cheesecake factory. That's where I've been. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's okay. a little more difficult to make, you know, there's a lot more steps and things, but the one we're doing is a little bit easier. So everybody can, you know, make it at home, you guys can do this with us. Um, we're doing something a little different. We're doing a twist on cheesecake. We're doing it with our goat cheese. And then um, we do use like a crust that we make at the restaurant. Um, you can also get that at your local store, just like a graham cracker crust if that's easier for you. But we'll also give you the ingredients on how to make that. Yeah, because yeah. we actually use Drake Family Farms goat cheese, goat which cheese. you can find at the Riverside Farmer's Market. Yeah. yeah, Drake so, so family like farms. Yeah. Like yeah. yeah, downtown yeah. Mission yeah. on Saturdays. You can find the goat cheese there, and it's amazing. Yeah. Best goat cheese ever. Yeah, and let me just say this: it's it's not about getting this right. It's about you two being together and trying to right. do something together. So you know, send us pictures of your failures. Like I I, I want to I want to see oh like gosh. like man a kitchen oh. fire. That'd be great. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, you know, we want you to try to do something together because so much of life, um, you know, I know even you guys in the restaurant when you're you know. When you're when you're just sledging it out, you're not always together, and so we need to just take time to stop and say, okay, let's reconnect, right? You know that beautiful girl that said, hey, let's go to church. You gotta just take time to connect with her. Which and, might have been one takeaway from COVID right now is yeah. the fact that when we did have a slowdown, however it impacted us financially, I think we reconnected a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the same is true for us. Yeah, just yeah. like the time, the time, the pace, the so. opportunity. Well, we reconnected, then we exploded, then we reconnected. <laughs> So, truth be told, this whole thing is for Matt and I to yeah. try to yeah. <laughs> do some COVID repair. There we go. <laughs> All right, Natalie, what's the first thing so we do? So, the first ingredient we're going to do is our goat cheese. I do recommend leaving it out and letting it get to like about room temperature for like 20 minutes. Um, it'll help soften it up. Um, because you we're not... also are kind of kneading it with your hands. Yeah, to just to warm it up a little. Warmth of your hands. Because if you're when it's you pretty use dry, huh? Cream. Yeah, it's oh, just typically flaky. It's a dry or flaky. Yeah. So you'll notice after you cook it at the end, it's going to be a little more um, like a flaky. But when we mix it, you'll see it. It'll become more like a batter um, okay. Okay. consistency. Okay. Yeah, but so right now it's yeah. a little flaky. So thanks. So you know, is this <laughs> yours or ours? Uh, this is from the restaurant. Okay, I brought okay. it on over. We have one. <laughs> we realized you yeah, have one. I was like, well, we could have so. used yours. Okay, okay. So um, first of all, you want to set this up, and then you want to. Set yours. You can just use a normal um, hand mixer at home if you don't have, you know, one of these big machines, the KitchenAids. Um, simple. You're just going to go a little bit longer. So for this first one, there we go. Um, you're going to want to stir it. So you start really, really slow. You don't want to just go really, really heavy at first because everything will fly everywhere and we don't want a messy kitchen. Right. Yeah. I mean, no, it's going like to get a little All the messy. guys on date night tonight, go I'm slow. like, legit, when I do mine, 
mean, it's like shooting out, so I go all the way up, and then I, I try to, I like shield it, like that helps, but yeah. it probably doesn't really help. I'm just it always in a thing. rush, trying to like get yeah. the result. I don't, yeah. I don't want to embrace the thing. process I just, sometimes. Like, throw it all in, and then you it know? comes out. Yeah. Usually, I have to clean the whole machine when yeah. I clean it all off. <laughs> I have. Here's the thing: is I got my little KitchenAid years ago, and I didn't use it for like a decade because I don't really cook that often, yeah. or I didn't. But during COVID, I've learned. Everything, it's my most used thing it's, now. Yeah, when you start learning like how amazing it is, it's like, oh, because I was always afraid of mine too, because I'm not a baker, to be honest. This is actually our pastry chef. He's amazing at right. the restaurant, and he helped me and showed me like, hey, this is how we're going to make it. And so now I'm like, I love this thing. It's, it does a lot. All right, so we're getting there. Now, at home, you're going to want to let so this good. go for about four to five minutes, and you'll start seeing it start looking more like a whipped cream cheese consistency. Um, and if you're doing a hand mixer at home, just eight minutes is good. You'll start noticing when it starts getting there. And then you can just go ahead and turn it off and we'll add the next ingredients. So good. Okay, so even though you could have the same vision on something, like Matt and I have the same vision in part for our church, but we right. typically have different ways we think to achieve it. Right, there's the right way and then there's Tammy's way. Right. And yeah. then there's my way and that's the right way. Yeah. Um, so and then we pray about it and we do it my way. Oh my gosh, we fight so much, but yeah. oh my gosh. same vision, different strategy. What was that like for you guys being married and then like same vision for the restaurant, but your strategy is getting different. Did you guys visions. ever fight? Did you fight? Well, I feel like we actually did a. I feel like we did, did a good sure job. No, uh, you know, being honest, because we did do a good job. It was more three months into the restaurant. We were having other issues, and it was very stressful. No sleep. I mean, I was oh, yeah, there 14 yeah. hour days, so seven days a week. Regardless. So it's like we're getting three hours of sleep, oh. and he has his other company, and it was like ah. So there was no time for us to connect. Mm -hmm. So we always knew that we needed that, and mm -hmm. so I feel uh, like the, the times that we would fight is when we were crossing over into, into each other's lanes. Mm -hmm. Like she knows food, so I should not get involved with the food, right? Lane. Yeah. <laughs> and I feel like I was more in charge of like building out the environment and. Which is so cool. You know, all that stuff. So I'm like, don't get involved in my stuff and change my stuff up and I won't get into your space. You yeah. know? And I feel like as long as we respected our lanes, we yeah. did a good job that way. Yeah. I like my lane and that. Yeah, oh, so in our house we have Tammy's space <laughs> and then we have our shared space. Right. We don't we don't have Tammy's space in my space. <clears throat> so and i am used to being a business owner running it my way only and not having to ask for permission yeah, yeah. or opinions so he already knows how to he says this is how you do it and then i would be like well i want to do it this way like, so he's wait. like well i have a business this is how we do it and i said well yeah. i think this would work better you know just little things so then like you that, get challenged right? like that you know yeah. and then no one wants to be right or wrong so it's kind of like always like a and that's picture. really hard in a marriage because you always want to be right i have that tendency i'm like i'm right you know and then when i'm yeah. wrong i'm like yeah. I'm sorry, I'm wrong, you know? Wait, 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 what wait, did you say? No, no, you did you hear what she said? What, you said, I'm sorry. Wait, I didn't hear that Actually, part. my husband's better at that. Oh. He's yes. the one that's always like, I'm sorry. And yeah. I'm, I'm kind of more tough. You know. So it yeah. takes me a little more longer. Are, husbands have a different motivation for getting sorry. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, say, come on. But do you Yeah, that's like, coming up tomorrow. Do you feel like, Real issues. Do you feel like COVID has stretched your marriage at all? I think it kind of helped our marriage a lot. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, our, I had a day where I lost my mind. <laughs> See, we, we still had two companies going. We were still so busy. So we weren't really uh, we uh, slept together I mean, we the whole time. time. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we were still gone all day, just in the evenings and the mornings we had that. Oh yeah, we didn't have that. So we'd go do our little walk, and then it's like, love you, see you later. Then we'd yeah. go do our thing. So we didn't get over consumed. Mm -hmm. We had enough, like yeah, just yeah, the right yeah. amount. I, I saw a meme that said this. If I have to spend one more second with the people I love most in the world, so help me God. It's like, I do love them yeah. most in the world, but all of us in the Brown House have just been like, if I have to spend one more second. Yeah. But we made it. We had a yeah. bad day. I had a bad day. Yeah, she was yelling at me. I can't go anywhere. I'm like, you have credit cards in your wallet. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like go wherever closed. you want. I'm like, go wherever you want. I know, everything's closed. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. I came back, though, you guys. Like, yeah, sometimes. You but I can yeah, but I mean, you guys, here's the yeah. thing, and we'll talk about this tomorrow, is this? there's yeah. been an enormous amount of stress. So I think, right, so we've had the illness. So that's the, like, are we going to die? Which for six weeks, right. a lot okay. of fear. There but you guys know as business owners, so I, I had the sickness, but I had, is the church going to go under? Like, so I got, there was like two weeks where I'm like, okay, you know, am I the captain of the Titanic? And, you know, I, I felt like I was reorganizing the chairs on the deck. 
you know, it's like, it doesn't matter what I do, this thing's going down. Right. And I just, I just, I just didn't know. That's and scary. I, and like, That's I'm calling scary. churches, you guys, I don't know if you were calling business owners, but I'm like, yeah. like, I, I, I'm calling every church I know, how was your offering this week? Are you guys okay? You know, what's going on? And then there's always that weird thing of, I wish that churches weren't com competitive. They're not always honest about like what's really happening. And I'm just like, you know, right. I just put it out there. Um, so it was really scary. And then I think we just had, uh, we had the management of adult children, which was really tough. You know, cause they don't even know how to grasp the yeah. situation. You know, we do get to be together, which was a, a curse a few times, mostly a blessing yeah. where it's like, their boyfriends, their friends are everywhere else. Right. So yeah. one of the things though, that was so good for us was um, I would try to make evenings at home, like kind of a sacred space for our family. Like TV's off, no COVID news, no candle yeah. lit, music on, and we cooked together. There we go. Every night. Yeah. Yeah. So I that, think they should that, just ban the I learned how to make so much time. stuff right. with cooking. And so I love that we're doing this because yeah. that's kind of how we survived. Like we did a make your own pizza dough. We, we did all kinds of things. And then for my few nights off, as you guys know, we had rustic pork broth. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, what do we do now? Okay, so now we're gonna add in our organic sugar. That's you, sugar and milk. Okay, so what do you want me to do? So it's one cup. Oh, we, we, had, uh, we had rustic pork on Easter. Yes. Yes, yes. Yeah. yes it was yes. delicious. Okay, sorry. So it's one cup of organic cane sugar. Well, now, is this one cup? Yeah. That's a cup. I know. That's a that's two cups there, so half of it is one. Okay, so, so put one of those in? Yeah. One. How am I gonna do that? Just dump it in. The whole thing. So the it's whole two cups. I thought you just said it was two cups. The whole thing is two cups probably at the top. This whole thing oh, is two cups. Oh, okay. okay. You made me nervous. <laughs> right. I'm like, how am I gonna <laughs> He's like, I can't just like gather my eyeball it. I'm okay. sorry. Yeah. So like just dump it? Just dump it all okay, in. That's easy. We're gonna I'm, I'm good at just dumping. Right. Perfect. Like how I feel, what I think. I just dump it. <laughs> dump it all in. And then we're gonna add a fourth cup of our organic local honey. Okay, I'm doing the honey. And then here's a spatula for that. You got, you got veto, though. Yeah. Reach in there. Well, I'm closer. I'm Come closer on this side this. of me. Okay, let me get yeah. in here. Where do you get your honey from? Here, I'm gonna try Our that. honey is a wildflower honey, and you can actually Oops. get it downtown at the local farmer's market can as I well. Can I taste it? You know what? Uh -oh. Just sure. don't, <laughs> don't mind. I'll clean really that good. up later. The local honey will also help if you have seasonal allergies because the pollen. Seasonal, I have, I have omnial. What do you have? <laughs> I have omnial. Have omnipresent allergies to all My allergies things. are like God, always there. <laughs> okay. This helps if you do the local hey, honey. Oh, dude. <laughs> well, Look at, does anybody sorry, notice I'm I didn't spill any sugar? We're not much more I'm graceful in the that. restaurant, to be no, honest, though. It's funny just as bad. We're spilling everywhere. All right, right. we're going to put this right over there. Okay, now right. what? Now My we're going to have the organic vanilla. Okay. So it's going to be half a tablespoon of organic ready. vanilla. I thought you just... Oh, it's our cat. That's good right there. Just a half a spoon right in there. Perfect. So now we're, you're going to want to mix all these ingredients for about two to three minutes. So just remember, you want to start slow. So always just... I start like at the stir level, and then I go to number two, and then you can gradually increase. And there's numbers on there? Yeah, so on the side here. Oh, so it's, like here it's like stick shift, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so at home, if you're using your hand mixer, you can artist. just, you know, start on a very, very low speed. It goes too. up to 10? Yeah, we'll get there. <laughs> we'll get there. <laughs> We're going 10. <laughs> so during this, you are gonna wanna turn it off, and you wanna just kind of scrape the sides just to incorporate everything, because sometimes on these mixers, it doesn't get all the way down to the bottom. When I do flour, the flour is always Yeah, the bottom, it gets so kind of caught, and I just kind of Oh, I can it see right. it. I can see where it didn't mix. Yeah, so you just kind of grab the bottoms, scrape it in, and you can do this with your um, hand mixer in the bowl at home, too. Just stop it for a minute, and then it'll get all incorporated. I feel so professional right now. <laughs> right, me too. Because I know you guys have like super amazing chefs and such right. at the restaurant, but when you're actually cooking, if you were really cooking this meal, would you just like dig in there Probably. with your finger? <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel like when you cook at home, by the time it's actually made, you're full? Because yeah, because snacking. you're snacking on everything. I do that all the time. That's probably how everyone at home is going to feel because they're just like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like our chefs hardly ever actually eat as a customer because like I've already. I'm over the food. Like I eat yeah, every yeah. day. I'm tasting it. Every time it you make a sauce, yeah. you have to taste it to make sure it's right. You know. Right. Huh. Well, the worst kind of kitchen. Salt. So yeah. we're not buying jars and cans of sauces. Yeah. Right. Every sauce is broken every down. Every vegetable is a different size okay, and shape. Okay. Okay. Hold. Yeah. 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 Okay, let me. Yeah. And let me say why. Because I like to eat at scratch kitchens. He, he, when I say that to my parents. Now. When I say that to my parents. 
They like have no idea what I mean. <laughs> huh. yeah. So so tell us what a scratch kitchen yeah. is. Yeah. So everything is made from scratch. Basically kind of what we're doing right now. We're right. making everything from scratch, you know? Of course, like, we're not making goat cheese. You're not just scratch, adding can, pre made no. cans to things no, to make No, they're something. actually reducing there things down. Because people like me think that scratch kitchen, like I made this homemade, means something different than scratch. Yeah. Like I added the milk and the butter to the mac and cheese, that's scratch, right? right. Like, like yeah. I bought it at the store and made it at home as opposed to drove through and got like, it. We actually it will roll our own pasta. Well, we have a pasta oh, you now. Do. We make our own pasta. We roll, we make the dough, we roll it, we cut it, and then we also make the sauce with fresh tomatoes, you know, and we put all the spices in there, we simmer it for hours. We make our own ranch. Which is why your food cost is twice. Yeah. So yeah. most restaurants get their food from what, yeah. what's, um, what is it, American Foods, Cisco. Cisco. Yeah. So no matter what restaurant you're eating from, um, at our Hunter Park campus, right, right up above, it's one of those food manufacturing plants. Oh, and yeah. they, 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 all the food that you're eating at every restaurant is coming from almost the same place, unless right. it's like this. And I think there's a real taste difference and i know as a nutritionist one of the reasons we're so unhealthy is everything is processed and i get it moms sometimes okay. it's got to be right. mac and cheese yeah, yeah, yeah. so so don't don't <laughs> i don't i don't want to like too. push Very you over the edge right now. Uh, sure but there is a taste difference it's and it's better for you i mean god well and that's i think what so many people don't realize is most large chain restaurants things are just microwaved or heat oh, absolutely they're not yeah cooked for you, you know. they're heated for you, and served to you without you having to do dishes. Whereas Which is one of our you struggles. Guys, you're getting, yeah, because yeah. like one chef's pinch of salt might be different than the next chef's pinch of oh, salt, right? Yeah. Which is why you always gotta be tasting because we gotta hit it's a like certain- Mine just feels yeah. probably smaller. Yeah, yeah right? It then it matches. So, and if you wanna be consistent, the guests expect the same dish to have mass time. Yeah. Right, and that's why that's why McDonald's has taken over the world because a burger, a burger in tastes LA the tastes exactly time. the same as a burger in Hong Kong, tastes exactly the same right. as a burger in Israel. And I, I've had hamburgers from, sorry, confession. I've had <laughs> McDonald's, I can actually say that because my friend sold his McDonald's restaurants. Um, I've had McDonald's all over the world. And sometimes we want it when you're, when you've been gone for a long yeah. time and like you yeah. miss home. Here, we never eat that. When yeah. we're in some place that's very foreign and everything you're eating is upsetting your stomach, we're like, right. where's McDonald's? Oh, McDonald's. Oh, except we know. McDonald's. Yeah, in India though, in yeah. India, they had no beef. So imagine yeah. we, we went to a McDonald's restaurant and they did not sell beef. It was the most it was like chicken sandwiches. Yeah, it was weird. So well, I, it's like I, in yeah. Israel, you can't have the beef and the cheese. Yeah. Like there's some weird yeah. sure. differences. Yeah, so, okay, we ready for this part? Yeah, so the last ingredient we're gonna put in for the uh, cake mix is the uh, eggs. So, so we, we, do, do, we don't have to beat them because that's gonna mix it's them It's gonna beat right in there. So you're okay. gonna do four, um, you wanna use like local free range eggs. Um, and then for Matt, we use duck eggs. Yeah, now, is it okay? Because duck eggs are bigger. Is it gonna make it, it different? Um, it'll be okay. No. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna clean this because we're already. We don't want. Yeah, and then I'm just gonna put this. We'll start at our low speed again, especially with eggs because they will splatter everywhere. So, very, very slow. And this is where we go up to our higher speed. <laughs> ten. The ten. All right. You're really? Oh. <laughs> we don't want salmonella tonight because then it will waste all the cheese. So you're gonna put it at this speed for about five minutes as you gradually increase. And I lied. We probably won't go to ten because we don't want to mess everywhere. Oh, so yeah. we might just go to just five. Different. <laughs> we'll know if it's crazy we'll slowly go. I know, but I think that's What speed are we at? Um, we're at a three right now. So we're at Mach three. Mach three. three. Now, and, the and right you know, stuff. That's like boy talk for cooking. <laughs> now, look at the difference of the batter now. It looks yeah. more like a cake batter. It looks yeah. like vanilla yeah. cake batter. Yeah. So we'll just keep going. We got now, are we going to cook it or just refrigerate it? We're going to cook it. Oh. Yeah. We'll water bath it, so. OK, you, you just know, lost it. I know. I take water, water baths. Bath. <laughs> we're going to water bath it real quick. Yeah, I don't have this. I always laugh because it doesn't really cover that much. I mean, it does, but there we go. Now I'll go to 10 just to see. Oh, oh yeah. hey, whoa. Oh. <laughs> That's, That's what I batter. wanted. Yes. <laughs> and we're good. Yes. <laughs> All right, so now that our batter is done, we're going to make our cheesecakes. So if you're at home, it doesn't matter what you're using. You can use your own, like, Pyrex pie pan. Anything works. So what you want to do is you just want to spray it really, really well with some cooking spray. Um, any kind, doesn't matter, but just make sure you get it in there really, really good. We're all going to make our own. Whoa. All right, now our yours is pre-made. Yes. But how, like, what's in the crust? So 
in our crust, we actually make ours gluten free. Um, you don't have to do that. You can use whatever you want. So we do one cup of organic gluten free flour. You can use regular white flour. That's perfectly fine. Then we add one cup of organic cane sugar and a quarter cup of organic coconut sugar. I love coconut sugar. It makes everything taste that much better. No, why do you like coconut sugar? Um, it's like a brown sugar. Oh. It actually replaces brown sugar. We use that in like all of our ingredients at the restaurant. That's one of our it's better for you. It's one of our better, a lot better, yeah. Then cane. Oh. Mm -hmm. So a lot of our recipes, even like our tomatilla salsa, we put a little bit of coconut sugar in there. Um, we season Fries, our fries seasoning. with that. So yeah. if you're wondering why Wait, our fries are so. You fries with sugar? Yeah. Just a little. That's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Salty, sweet, yeah. Um, yeah, so coconut sugar is a great, great alternative to brown sugar if you're okay. looking for something a little bit healthier that your body can process a lot yeah. better. Yeah. So after that, then you're going to do a quarter cup of organic butter softened. So you can leave it out for, you know, 30 minutes or you can throw it in the microwave for a little bit. Um, and then you're going to do one teaspoon of organic cinnamon and then a half cup of organic gluten-free oats, which you can just use regular oats. That's perfectly fine. And then uh, two tablespoons of organic walnuts. Now with that, you can just pulse it in your blender real quick, the walnuts, that's perfectly fine. Or if you have um, like a Roboku, which most people don't have at home, you, can, <laughs> you can blend that. That's what we use at the restaurant. And my Roboku. <laughs> <laughs> when I first heard about Roboku, you. I was like, what is that? I I'm like, what's a Roboku? Yeah, uh, I still don't know. But like normal people, it's a big like, machine. this is awesome and obviously so good for you, which is why we did it. But like a normal person could just go buy a crust. Yeah, sure. That's. And use their regular cinnamon. I think a, regular, yeah, like a graham cracker crust is yeah, yeah, yeah. perfectly fine, you know, or any kind of regular crust for cheesecakes that you find at the store works perfect. Mm -hmm. Rustic fork always has to do a little tweak on anything. Yeah, which is what makes it so good. Yeah. But if you're making this and you don't have all that, then yeah. Right. yeah. Make it easy on yourself. Um, and then with all those ingredients, you just mix them up in a little cup, whatever, and then that's your crust. So you're going to take, we are taking two, about a tablespoon and a half um, scoops of is our this crust. A cookie cutter? Yeah. Like a normal cookie <laughs> yeah, cutter. Yeah, like a normal cookie cutter. Okay. You could do that in yours. Um, you're gonna want to, if you're using like a Pyrex or anything, you want to do about a cup. But as you're smashing it down with your fingers, you'll notice two of these. Just to kind of cover, yeah. Just to kind of cover the bottom really well. And then you can just pack it down with your hands. We'll get that nice and packed in there. We all washed our hands for yeah. we did. COVID out. <laughs> Yes. So, <laughs> very careful. And if you need to add more, you can add a little more if you think it's not packed all the way down. Yeah. Now these just cans <laughs> are cheesecake cans, right? Which is why the bottom yes. is like separate. So these are actually called spring boards. And what they like about them is when you open up this spring, you can pull the cheesecake out in its solid form after it's So then it's, it's cooked. still just like on the base? Yeah. Because if you're doing like a normal pan at home, you're going to have to cut it and pull it out like a cake, so. So like Jeez. the kind we buy yeah. or see in the store ha is like made in a spring. Yes. Okay. You can buy these in a bigger size too. I actually had a hard time finding these small ones. I can only find the big ones. So you can get okay. the big ones for a whole one. Mine's ready. Mine's perfect. Perfect. This is like a Perfection. great like personal size cheesecake. Yeah. You know? It, yeah. We make Versus getting a size. slice of it. So now you're going to take your batter. Whoa. Oh, did yours fall out? <laughs> you're springing spring the board. board. Yeah. Your spring bread. I wanted to smell it. You can't be springing the board like that already. So now we're going to take two scoops. This is about a, a six to eight ounce scoop, and we're just going to pour them. You want to fill it about three quarters of the way high, just okay. leaving a little bit on the top there. Is, is it going to is it going to elevate as it bakes? Yeah, like does it rise? Um, a, not a lot. Okay. It's not like it's not a true cake. But there's some egg in there, so it might. A little fluff, fluff. yeah, just a tiny. You'll see the edges kind of fluff up a little yeah, she's bit. She's doing too much. Well, I did like <laughs> Three quarters is I did good. Like so you enjoy extra crust. She likes extra yeah. goat cheese. Yeah. Yeah. So two scoops? Two yeah. scoops, yeah. I want to make sure I do just it correctly. Just about a quarter of the cup. My rebel cup wife. <laughs> Why am I not wearing an apron? I know, I forgot about that. Because we're around. This is wild. Our this is date night. Are we getting wild? No, <laughs> no that's, that's later. <laughs> wild is later. Well, you hope. Yeah. Pray for me, Tommy. <laughs> and there you go. That looks great. All right. It looks great. So from here, we're going to put these into a water bath. So we're going to wrap this up, and I'll explain what a water bath is. All right. So this is actually our water bath. 
So what it is is we have a hotel pan that we filled with water, and then we're gonna actually put that in the oven with the cheesecakes in it. Oh, yeah. um, you can just take a pan that's bigger than your Pyrex one, like a big baking pan that you have, fill that about three quarters of the way full, and then put your Pyrex in there, and that's perfectly fine. Um, now, does this again help with hydration? Yeah, it helps just cook evenly throughout. Mm. And does this make it so it doesn't burn? Yeah, it, like on a certain side, like that it cooks it, more evenly. Yeah, yeah, totally evenly. So it's gonna almost like boil the water. It's kind of like a steam tray. Kind of like yeah. Is it gonna make it like a water bath? Exactly. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> exactly. So we're actually okay. gonna wrap ours with foil. Okay, if no you're foil? using um, a regular pan at home, that's totally fine. The only reason why we're doing foil is because these springboards for us to get these out. There's little. Um, opening right here, so we don't want water getting into we'll our get cheesecake. in there and make it mushy. So we're just gonna fold it up to the top and wrap it around. You don't have to cover it. Just wrap we're it just trying to make sure that water doesn't, water seep, doesn't seep through that. the bottom there. Well, Matt gave me such a huge piece. <laughs> Sorry. I'm I know, mine's pretty big too. Okay. Yeah, that way it just protects it from getting the water in. This is my first water bath, you guys. <laughs> Yours is all perfectly done. First of many. <laughs> Very nice. I have a lot of one from the Instagram. I'm a terrible like present wrapper, <laughs> and this is also kind of proven that because this is. And then you'll just wrapper. place it in there. So when you place it in, you want the water to go about as high as the cheesecake is, so about three quarters. So just make sure if you need to add a little more water, just add a little more. Do you think ours is fine? I'll probably add a little more water. Yeah. And then so you're gonna. Preheat your oven to 350. And once you get your water bath in and your cheesecake, you're gonna put it in the oven. You're gonna bake it for about, if you have That's little good. springboards like this, this is only gonna take us about 25 minutes, but if you have a bigger one, I recommend 45 to 50 minutes. So you're just gonna pop that in the oven, 45, 50 minutes. Then you're gonna pull it out. You're gonna take your cheesecake like out and you're gonna put it in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes or till it's cooled completely. And then we'll go through what we top ours with. All right, and now we're back. So we've got our cheesecakes nice and cool. These are amazing, and the They're way it's fun. like pulled away a little bit. Yeah, so okay. that's why we use these little springboards. You unconnect them, and then you just kind of lift your cheesecake out like that, and you could break it like I just did. <laughs> Probably I'm gonna break it. You just touch the cake? Yeah, and you lift it up oh, on the, like from this. the bottom. Oh, like this, like push that part I already am too late. <laughs> You're doing it wrong. Uh, Did I already? I was so good to me. Story in that nice life. You're doing it wrong. I broke mine, so. <laughs> and now this is the fun part because there's no like ingredients that you have to put on top of a cheesecake. You can put whatever you want. Mm -hmm. um, I just don't like. We've been you playing a lot of I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it tonight. It's like a so vanilla yeah. ice cream. It's a good base. You can make it savory. You can make mm -hmm. it yeah. sweet. Because even the goat cheese, it's just, it's it's not any specific flavor. So you can have fun with it. Um, but what we like to use is we use our cardamom jam. And this is from Whitegate Cottages at the local farmer's market in Riverside downtown. Um, we get this from them. They actually come in our restaurant and cook the jam. Yeah, it's actually prepared at Rustic yeah. Fort. What? Cool. what is cardamom? Cardamom is a, like a, a seed. Hmm. Cardamom. Yeah. So I know it's a scent too. They probably put it in. They put but it, it has, in. It's a very yeah. fragrant. Whatever it is, it's, it's very fragrant. high fragrant. Yeah, yeah, you can smell it if you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's one of my favorite candles. Oh, you like the candle? Cardamom in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of a, has I a little it. spice to it. Didn't know you could kind of like nutmeg yeah. or something. That smells so spicy. And that's orange, right? This is yeah, orange. it's orange cardamom. So you just mix it up and it almost looks like an apple sauce. It does, but we like to top it because it looks pretty. And yeah. I like the little spices in there, and you can go a little extra heavy if you like a little more. Okay, so we're doing this thing that people who do it, there's a contest for like the best one. So there, I think. And you the guys, worst. And the worst. Submit right. your pictures of you doing this. Um, we'll see who's the better or worse out of Matt and I. But so have really uh, a good time to like. I'm only gonna do it on half since I like playing playing. I'm gonna drizzle it. <laughs> I'm gonna Take drizzle, a risk. I'm gonna drizzle down the sides so it looks like. Oh, it looks cool. Like, Love that. So we want to see what you guys are topping yours. Yeah. With. Yeah. Okay. So submit your pictures great. and um, so we can see what you guys did. Look at that. See, yeah. you just let it. Yeah. And to be honest, you don't have to use goat cheese. You can use regular cream cheese. But also we have both at the restaurant. You guys, look at how amazing this is. Matt just plopped it. Yeah. Just it. Very gracious. Yes. So now we're just going to top ours with a couple of local blueberries from our local farmer's market. 
Because they're in season right now? In mm. season, so they're really good. Really good. Oh, petite. Little trio. <laughs> <laughs> I'm winning right now. I have very little free in me. Yeah, like I'm not. Just throw them on the plate. Just you know, forget the cheese. I actually did like that. It looks cool when you just kind of, you Thank know, you. have Thank fun you, with it. So this is the best part. I love it. Um, everyone always thinks that we use chocolate at the restaurant, but we actually use date syrup. Yeah, yeah, it's date it's syrup. syrup. So it's a low glycemic index, um, super healthy. And what is that? Um, it means you process it slower. Yeah, and okay. it's yeah. Thanks, Matt. So you're the... not gonna have the crash like the yeah, eye and then the crash. Yeah, so it's okay. good for like diabetic and things. I saw like her hamster wheel going. Yeah. I was asking for a friend. For a friend. friend. Guys. Yeah. <laughs> So this is fun. You can do whatever you want. Like sometimes I like to do a little swirl Whoa, around the plate, yeah. make it look pretty. Mm -hmm. and then... come on. Oh, come on. Pressure now. Yeah, come on. <laughs> I already know what I'm doing. You could do a happy face. Oh, look at oh, that. Pretty. Okay. I'm gonna write. Well, in case you have yeah, a resume, seals. we're taking the applications right now. If you want to come on. I'm gonna write MB because you're optimized. Mm. Oh. Then I'm gonna just do a little drizzle off the side. <laughs> okay. Do yeah. I got it on me? There you go. Oh, yeah, you can kind of play with that. Look at that. Come on. <laughs> That's yeah, the fun thing with this. My just looks like, like looks good. a mess. Perfect. Perfect. Look Everybody like look at mine. I don't want to actually come on now. Mess, I think, yeah? yeah? Yeah. Professional over here. Hey, Matt, so <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I can't help it. Jesus, can Jesus gets So gifts. we want to see all your pictures. Yes. Yeah. You can all do right, anything. Can we take a bite? It's not a big deal, Let's but try. I want to know. Time to do it? I want or I'm gonna give one. you the big fork. You're a bigger guy. <laughs> okay. Ready? Ready? Dig in. You gonna do a big bite? Well, yeah. Mm, Gotta get everything on there. Oh, mine's falling See apart. the consistency of that? Nice and flaky. It is a little flaky. Yeah, it's like flaky creamy. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. Super good. Uh -huh. I can't believe we just made Oh, this. wow. We just made this. Yeah, we did. I have yeah. never felt so good about myself. Yeah. You guys so did an yeah, excellent yeah. job. Yeah. That was fun. All right, That's Matt Brown. I don't take another bite. <laughs> <laughs> so it takes a little bit of time to cool it right in between this. So yes. what we want you guys to do is while it's cooling to make sure that you're enjoying the night of comedy and that we have um, tomorrow a day of conference where Matt and I are just going to basically share just a lot of wisdom, you guys, like so much good. About how Tammy struggles in so good many areas. wisdom about how <laughs> Matt's learned so much <laughs> in life and... You know, one of the things that, to be serious now, I'm transitioning to seriousness, is one of the conversations that we've had so much with our kids over time is that it's not easy to stay married. It's a choice over and over and over again. Um, and now, you know, our first several years of marriage, as we've shared so often, was really, really tough. And we struggled so much. Now, we just had our 24th wedding anniversary and just to be on the other side of choosing to stay. And, you know, we have learned a lot in that. So do you want to talk a little bit about what we're going to do? Yeah, we're tomorrow? just going to, tomorrow's going to be real. It's going to be relaxed. It's going to be real. We're going to talk about finances. We're going to talk about intimacy and we're going to talk about sex. So just please join us tomorrow. Here's what I would say is, um, you know, if, if you're already fighting tonight, <laughs> you know, don't give up. It, it's really, really hard to do, to do new things together. Um, but that's a part that's a part of just working it out together and understand that the challenge uh, oftentimes is a part of the joy. And I think a lot of times, especially in our modern culture, we assume that if something's not easy, it's not good. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes difficult things turn out to be the best things. And uh, so I just would encourage you hang in there tonight, uh, especially if you're, you know, if you're not at a place where intimacy, sexual intimacy needs to happen tonight, I would just be honest about that. I think one of the things whenever we do, these things is couples put pressure on themselves. And I would just say, look, if, you know, if, if you guys are not right emotionally and you're not right spiritually, tonight's not the night to be right uh, intimately. And so let's talk about that tomorrow morning, but let's not, you know, we do these things sometimes and couples will come the first night when we were actually at a hotel and then we don't see them the next day um, because there's expectations and, and all kinds of things that go into this. And so this is a, this is a workshop, okay? We're gonna work together. We're gonna do this together. And so, uh, you know, maybe maybe the, the, the fruit of this, like we had to wait for this to come out of the oven. Maybe you, what you have to do is you have to wait for this to come out of the oven. It's gonna be a week. For some of you, it's gonna be a month. For some of you, it's like Tammy and I, it's gonna take a couple years to get into some rhythms where we say, okay, we're gonna work together. We're gonna submit, submit to Christ first, and then we're gonna learn to submit to each other. 
So I just want to thank Natalie uh, and Tommy. And now you guys, thank um, you so much. This is thank you guys. Yeah, and let me just ask you guys, uh, you know, please support the Rustic Fork. It's a great place. Uh, and I know we're all from different budgets. We're actually not just saying that either. Yeah. We, we yeah. actually love it. Yeah. So, yeah, I know we didn't pay them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're, all from, we're all from different budgets. And so, you know, maybe the Rustic Fork is something that you have to save up for. I would encourage you to do that. Uh, for maybe if you have some means, I would encourage you to support them uh, as soon as possible because you know, it's just, it's a great place. And so they did this for us and we're very, very thankful that they were here and hopefully they're gonna join us for the Let conference. Let me say this, yeah. and, and if you're someone that's not struggling and you know a, a couple that's struggling or a young couple that maybe couldn't, like you could go get a gift card yeah. and treat them. Yeah, you guys do gift cards. Mm -hmm. We do. You guys yeah. gave us one. We'll actually give a gift card for the best cheesecake picture, Ooh, right? Nice. Yes. Oh, or the biggest okay. film. Yeah, maybe both. Yeah, please, you know? please send the fail. I want to yeah, see we'll it. Yeah, we'll have to do the fail because like, we'll have to yeah, yeah. make it for you. <laughs> yeah, like we were at, we were at a, uh, our daughter's birthday party, and I kid you not, the 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 platter caught on fire. Like somebody had yes. to run, run and get a fire extinguisher. I was running like with my coat. Right next to the and one of our youth pastors at Sandals, at, we're at this party, threw water on it. I'm not going to say his name, but he knows who okay, he is. But also, he asked me first, and I said, Oh, yes, she said so to put water. Blow up. So He's he, like, oh, put water? it like, went. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it, it makes sense. It was, fire yeah. water? Yeah. So if that happens to you, call 911, <laughs> but make sure you video it so that we can uh, right. all participate in the humor. Yeah. So we love you they guys. Yeah, we're looking so, forward to seeing you yeah. tomorrow. So thank you to the Rustic Fork and our our new friends. Yes. We've gotten to know them. We've moved past the awkward yeah. stage, yeah. <laughs> you know, where now we can see each other and say hi. Right? Yeah, and absolutely. Not, not feel weird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So thank you so much. See you guys tomorrow see morning. You guys tomorrow. Enjoy tonight. No pressure. Low expectations. Have right? some fun and laugh together. Yeah. Love you. Bye.